Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be trying our best to replicate my real-life Tundra here in SnowRunner. Now, the truck that we're going to be using for this is yeah Buddy's Tundra, actually yeah Buddy's Tundra TRD Pro, and really, I say TRD Pro, it has a TRD Pro bed, but none of the suspension is exactly TRD Pro at this point. It's all aftermarket, but nevertheless, I will be leaving a link in the description box down below to where you can uh, follow along with the development of this truck on Yabadi's Discord as well as his YouTube channel where he posts updates about his trucks from time to time. Now, I've already gone ahead and handled the color and the color is not exactly the color of my truck in real life. However, this is about as close as I can get to the color of my actual truck on this particular one here in SnowRunner. Now, what we're going to be doing as far as the build goes is we're probably going to be trying to get as close as we can just with like tire sizes and wheels and wheel colors and stuff like that. And then after that, we're going to be going on a adventure down to the sand dunes and then we're going to see how this thing does on the sand dunes in the setup that we've actually built it on. Now, obviously, there's going to be some trails between us and the sand dunes, so it's going to have to be a little bit of a varied setup, sort of a sort of a mixture of an overland slash desert setup. So without any further ado, let's get inside the garage and let's begin the build. So let's go ahead and recover in. And as far as the customization goes, I'm actually going to leave this one on the standard engine because I'm trying to keep it at least fairly close to uh, what it would be in the real world. This one doesn't need to be wildly fast and I would like to go back and redo this kind of as a dream setup a little bit later on down the road and maybe we'll add some power then but I do want to highlight the tuning of this truck in the stock. I say stock in air quotes because it's still fairly quick in stock form but it does have a B plus power to weight rating which seems slow but I feel like it's not actually going to be as slow as it might seem. Now, gearbox-wise, we're going to go with the... We're probably going to go with the YB transmission on this one. The transmission, I'm not really too concerned with keeping it real, uh, like, realistic focused, or at least real truck focused. Now, the suspension, this is going to be interesting because the suspension, as the truck sits right now in-game, is probably where it would sit in the real world with maybe somewhere between, like, a 5 to 8-inch lift, and... I mean, my actual truck sits at a six inch lift right now, so I feel like the air quotes here stock setup, stock lift kit is going to be pretty similar to where my actual truck is. However, if we look at lift one, that one's going to be slightly lower. If we look at lift two, that one's going to be slightly higher, but also set up for jumps. Then we've also got max flex. We've got the standard lift and the just straight up lifted is extremely tall. Then we've got flex. Then we've got toe and then we have active toe. So I'm going to go with the air quotes once again, stock. And then we're going to go with some different tires. Now, my actual truck is currently running a set of 37-inch BFG KO2s. Now, this truck starts out on 35s and then goes up to a 39. And so, what we're going to be doing is we're going to throw some 39-inch BFG KO2s. I kind of wanted to go for the larger end of the tire size rather than the smaller end of the tire size because I feel like this is going to be a little bit closer to the look and the feel of the 37s in real life. So, we're going to go ahead and throw the BFG KO2s on there. The winch we're going to leave alone. Snorkel, my actual actual truck doesn't have a snorkel right now, so we're not going to put that on at the moment. Frame add-ons wise, I mean, we don't have a bed rack right now. A bed rack would be really, really cool to get later on down the road in the future, but as it sits at this present moment, my truck does not have a bed rack, or at least at the point of filming this video, at the time of filming this video. Now, add-ons wise, we're not going to go ahead and throw any hitches on it right now. Um, I'm probably going to actually take that hitch off, and then front bumper wise, oh, that's actually really cool. Look at the rear bumper. It's got like little LED pods in it. That's so cool. That's so freaking cool. Now, front bumper wise, I am currently running a stock front bumper, at least as of the time of recording this video. Now, I would love, I would absolutely love to go ahead and make the switch to like a bumper like this or a bumper like this. I mean, that's definitely in the near future for the truck. And what I'll end up doing is I'll probably, once the truck gets more modifications, I will update a new build here in SnowRunner or even potentially get my actual truck built in SnowRunner itself in its basically like in its actual form. The only thing with that is I want to be able to do a few mods to my truck before I rebuild it in game. So I think the one we're going to go with is we're going to go with the stock one and stock rear as well. 
And then the sunroof cover, I'm going to go ahead and actually put that on. And then headlights-wise, we've got the normal headlights, and then we've got the red ones. I mean, mine has the standard ones right now, so I'll go with that. And then light bar-wise, I want one of these on mine so bad. And I kind of want the pods as well. And if we're going to do, like, one little thing to this one that's not on the real truck, I'm going to throw some pods on it. Just, just, just to do it, because I think they look really cool. Now, currently, wheels-wise on my truck, I have the TRD Rock Warrior wheels from the previous generation. I believe they're from the previous generation truck. And they're, they're a really good-looking wheel. But in my opinion, I do want to swap them out later on down the line for some Method Race wheels. However, the closest I can get to those on this truck right now is probably going to be these silver Cam CL ones or at least in sort of like the look, feel, and vibe of everything. I've already got the color set. And now, this at the moment is about as close as we can get to my truck in real life. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and head to the desert, and we'll see how it does along the trails along the way. We'll also see how it does down in the dunes. Now, as you can see, oh yeah, at full lock, this would also uh, rub on the back of the front bumper like my actual truck does. I still need to trim the back of the bumper, but like... So hear me out on this. I'm like super conflicted on whether or not, because it doesn't rub the back of the bumper all the time. It only does at certain times. And part of me wants to trim the back of the bumper. And the other part of me is not sure if I should do it until I get like an aftermarket bumper. Because I'm like, I don't know if I want to just completely chop up the back of that front bumper uh, or the stock bumper. We'll see. Now this trail, we can either take the long way down or we can take the shorter way down. The shorter way down is very sketchy. However, I think this might actually be able to handle it. Even though it's on the air quotes, once again, stock suspension setup, um, I think it's going to be able to handle itself on the way down. So let's find out. Let's see. Also, I know it's on the stock air quotes, once again, suspension tune, but it's, or not, sorry, not suspension tune. It is on the stock suspension tune, but that's not where I was going with that. The stock engine, and the stock engine is actually, it's not that bad. It's not bad at all. It just gives you a little bit more of a kind of realistic feeling vibe. Oh my god, dude, the pods look so good. I don't know, I know I don't have the pods on my real truck, but man, they look sick. All right, I'm going to make a little bit of a run. I'm going the wrong way. I should have gone, I should have gone right, shouldn't I? Yep, I should have gone right. Yep, messed that one up already. Captain's sense of direction over here. It's fine. It's completely and totally fine. Now, I'm going to try not to smash this thing up on the way down there. But what's interesting is when you come out to these trails with something that isn't like a dedicated built crawler, everything changes. Your perspective changes really quickly. Like right there, if that was real life, I would have just completely torn my rear bumper off, which would not have been a joyful occasion. All right, let's ease our way down this trail. It is doing really well, though. I've got to say, it's doing pretty dang well. Let me ease my way around these rocks. You can kind of use the wheelbase to your advantage. Like, if you're willing to, if you're willing to kind of make the other sacrifices that are necessary when wheeling a long wheelbase rig like this, you can kind of like find some lines that you wouldn't have been able to find in shorter rigs. Oh, this is uh, th that's a that's a sketchy idea. That's a horrible idea. Don't go that way. That sounds awful. <laughs> why why would you go that way? That sounds. Oh no 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 no. There's cactuses there. Stop it. Stop it. Where are you going? All right. Uh, well, hey, front bumper, you might be going in the bin after this. Oh, boy. Ooh. Let's see. How bad is the... Whoa! Actually, the front bumper doesn't have any damage on it right now, but that's extremely surprising. The fact that that front bumper isn't completely banged up is amazing to me. That is absolutely incredible to me that that front bumper is not smashed at the moment. I know my rear bumper has, like, a couple dents. Oh, it's got more than a couple of dents. Okay, yeah, I have smashed that rear bumper more than a few times. But we haven't come close to flipping yet, and that that in itself is amazing. All right, let's ease it on down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Brakes, 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 brakes. God. I am going to fix that body damage when we get to the bottom here. And, God, you always forget, or at least I do, how off-camber this section of trail is until you actually get here and you see it and you realize how insanely off-camber it is. But, luckily, we were able to take the quicker way down. And it got us here, honestly, in a 
very timely fashion. Very, very timely fashion, as opposed to taking that long way. All right, so as we can see, we have that gigantic desert out there. Beautiful desert, by the way. And let me spin this thing around so I can get a really good look at it, actually looking over the desert, because that's going to be a gorgeous view. Dude, oh my god, that's so sick. That is so sick. That's absolutely wild, and I love the way this thing looks in this setup, too. And once again, I get that those pods are not on my real truck, but boy, are they gonna be at some point. That's why I was okay with throwing these on here, because I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna end up throwing some LED, like, LED pods on my truck at some point. So, that's why I was just like, yep, they're, get they're, they're getting thrown on this one. All right, let's make a little bit of a run through the desert and see what it's like out here. I've never brought it out to the desert, but I have a feeling that even with this, like, standard suspension setup, it's going to be a blast. I am, like, flat out on the throttle, by the way. Easy. Well, not flat out anymore, because I'm trying not to completely, like, flip the thing. All right, up and over. Wow, I should have stayed in it. I really should have stayed in it. High is actually super manageable, though, with this power level. I mean, some might say it's really slow, others might say it's pretty realistic, but actually, like, if you look at the way it's it's able to handle these dunes, it's doing an amazing job. Just up and over, lands it and keeps going. That is so good, and you can see the suspension getting its work done. Oh, got a little bit of a, little bit of a hard hit there, but nothing too crazy. Dude, it's handling this so well. All right, let's whip it around and head back the other way. That's amazing, like... The way that it... Oh, that's going to be a big one. Wow, apparently I did not mess anything up on that one. I would have... Wow. Both of those would have been tremendously hard and rough hits in real life, but this thing is apparently really good at taking, uh, like, big drops in the front suspension. All right, up and over. That wasn't actually as gnarly as I thought it was going to be, that coming back down. I, I figured that was... Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, that I did not realize that that was as big of a drop as it actually was. Holy smokes, that was a, that was an incredibly huge drop. Give me one more go at that, because I want to see if I can make a pretty clean run without uh, completely sending the front bumper into the next dimension. Let me try a new line back through the other direction now. Up and over, nice and easy. All right, let me see how this goes. That was a pretty big, that was a pretty big launch, actually. Especially when you think about it in, like, real-world terms. Okay, I shouldn't have lifted that much. I lifted out of that one a lot. Although, these dunes are a lot more tame and a lot more mellow out this way. You do get some different, like, you do get some fun different lines. It's actually really fun, though. Like, taking this thing out here with the stock power level, but with the YB transmission. And just making runs through the desert. And trying to sort of, trying to keep it fairly realistic. While also trying to, like, challenge yourself to find good lines. And also, keep the truck on all four wheels. It really does help. All right, easy. Down over the other side. No, dude, that's amazing. The fact that it was willing to, like, handle that so well. And I love watching the suspension working. Like, the tuning on this thing is absolutely incredible. Okay, that could have been a really good jump, a really good launch. And I was just really nervous that I was going to launch into the, like I said, launch the front bumper into the next dimension like I did the last time. But let's find out. Let me do it. A little bit of a run at it and high. Oh, easy. I mean, especially with the stock power. I mean, it's not mad about it. It does not care. Oh. Wow. Unless you take a big sideways hit like that. Because if you take a big sideways hit like that, things get uh, things get pretty nasty pretty quick. Now, one thing that I do want to try before we um, before we wrap up this test and wrap up this run is I want to get at least one wild insane launch like one if that wasn't wild and insane enough i want to get one wild and insane launch and completely throw realism to the wind and just throw the max engine in this thing and absolutely just go to town with it now come on up the hill you go let's go come on all right so let's go ahead and get turned around real quick i said let's get turned around real quick jeez all right, a little bit of a quick trip to the dev tools department, and we're getting the highway transmission. We're getting the 1,200 horsepower engine. We're getting the, let's see, we're getting lift two. And what tire size are we on right now? We're going up, let's see. We're going up a tire size. These are off-road one. Yeah. 
the largest KO2s we can find. The absolute largest KO2s we can find. And let's see, can I find the same KMCs? Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is going to be a big difference. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I said take the handbrake off. Come on. Oh my god, that is a... That's a big freaking difference. Oh, jeez. That's a big difference. When you throw this thing into high in the 1200 horsepower engine tune, not only does it take off and rip, but it's actually still pretty compliant and controllable. I have, like, I have got to applaud the level of compliance this thing has in the dunes especially. Like, even when you're just ripping in it. Oh, that's going to be bad. No, it wasn't gathered itself back up and just pulled out of it just fine. That's, that's nuts. That's absolutely amazing. All right, let me swing that back up back this way. Come on. All right, let me see if I can get back to the other end on the top, like, the top engine tune without completely binning the truck. Oh, this might be, wow. I thought that was actual doom. Oh, oh. That was a big hit, but I feel like we kind of saved it. Still a big hit. Damaged it, but kind of saved it. I'm gonna go for a massive send on that last... Well, it's not really a ramp. It's kind of a hill, but... Easy. And... Holy crap! Actually, somehow, we're still okay. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video in SnowRunner with this Tundra. And if you did enjoy it, let me know any thoughts and opinions you guys may have in the comment section down below. And also, if you're new around here and you would like to see more, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.